Today, I'm gonna drain an entire ocean monument with just one click. How am I gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna use these guys. Also, just a little disclaimer, this nearly broke my world, so don't try this at home. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is collect a bunch of blocks. That should be enough. Wait, actually, I think we need a bit more. All right, let's find this ocean monument. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I found it. I think he's up here. All right, yeah, there he is. We need to kill him. Let's kill him fast before we get killed by all the other guardians. Oh, my God. Ow. Let's go. Woo. Oh, my God. We don't have mining fatigue. Uh, huh, huh. All right, so now we can actually build the outline. All right, let's do it. Oh, these guys really hurt. Oh, my God. All right, yeah, we definitely need a better way of killing these guys. And I can't think of a better way than a trident. So let's go trident hunting. Where are these guys? Hello, Mr. B. Hello, other B. Why is there so many here, but none with a trident? Surely there's got to be some around here. This guy's carrying everything but a trident. Here we go. No, I don't think he dropped it. Wait, I'm pretty sure I might have had one in this video. Oh my god. Oh my god, we've got one. All right, now let's fix this up and make it really OP. All right, so let's enchant it. Ooh, loyalty three and I'm breaking three. That's perfect. All right, now I think we just need impaling. Oh my god, thank god. We finally got it. All right, so let's chuck that on. Now let's come over here to the villager prison and grab ourselves a mending book. Perfect. Night, night, villagers. Let's chuck that on. And that is pretty much a god trident. And now we just need to up its durability. So let's head to the gold farm. Also, guys, at this point in the video, Mark would like to remind you guys to check your subscribed because we've got some very epic videos coming out soon. Thanks, Mark. Excuse me, do you mind? Oh my god, it's so loud here. All right, let's fix this thing. Let's see how long it's going to take. Oh my god, look at it go. And there we go. It is fully fixed. Let's just fix the rest of this stuff. Oh, wait, that doesn't have mending on it. All right, perfect. There we go. We just need to kill this gas because it's uh, being annoying. All right, now we should be a bit better against these guardians. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, this hurts so much. This thing is so fun. Uh-oh, unless you miss. All right, so we've measured out the diameter. Now we actually need to build the outline all the way around. So let's get doing it. Oh, my God, this is painful. Well, uh, I think we messed up a little bit. All right, and we fixed it, and that's the first quarter done. These guys are so annoying. Okay, guys, there we go. We have a massive circle all laid out all around the ocean monument. Now, this next step is very important to how this is going to work. So basically, what we need to do is craft up a bunch of signs and place them all connected to one sign like this all the way across the circle. So it's going to take like 7,000 signs or something like that. Because then when we break this one sign with one click, all the signs will break and drop hundreds of thousands of sand into the ocean monument, draining it completely. So now that we know the method, let's get to work. Ow. All right, we'll definitely have to get a lot more, but let's get placing them. So this will be the main sign. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so it's been about four hours and we have finally got all the signs placed. Oh my God, this is probably my least favorite thing to do in all of Minecraft. I'm never, ever doing this again. All right, so there's about 7,500 signs, maybe a little bit more. But for each sign, we're going to have to put 30 sand on top of it. So that means there's going to be at least 225,000 sand on top of the signs which is a lot of sand. So the next thing to do is get our hands on all of that sand. However, before we do that, we need to finish something from the last episode. So last time, if you didn't know, we collected every block in Hardcore Minecraft. Well, nearly every block. So we said only full blocks like this would count, but we did kind of include some questionable choices. However, there were six normal blocks that we did miss that we're gonna go and collect now. And three of them actually come from azalea trees. So we need to go and find one.
All right, we found the exact azalea tree that we found last time. All right, so we need azalea normal leaves. There we go. Ah! Okay, uh, chest plate time. All right, now that that's over, we can get rooted dirt. And the last thing that we need from this area is a moss block. All right, we're going down. Here we go. And I think this is it. There we go. We have a moss block. Oh, actually, we might be able to find two more blocks in this cave because we actually forgot to collect all the blocks that come in an amethyst geode. Oh, this place is sick. I'm just basically looking for purple things, but I can't see any. The only thing that I keep looking at is these flowers. Yep, just flowers everywhere. Flower, flowers, flowers, flowers. Give me a geode, please. Wait, is this one? Oh, yes. It is. Let's go. Woo. All right. So we got calcite and amethyst. Let's go. All right. That's enough of that. Anyways, there's only one more block that we missed. And it's not bedrock because we can't actually get that. But it is actually something that we can craft at base. Books, wood, and there we go. A bookshelf. All right. Let's place our blocks in. And there we go. We have every full block in Hardcore Minecraft. Yeah, we're not including farmland or grass path blocks. As you can see, they are both under a full block. And we're also not counting water as you can also see it comes up to less than a full block. And the same with lava. All right, so now it's sand time. How are we going to get over 200,000 sand? Let me think. All right, I've got it. We're gonna fly all the way to the stronghold, drop down and take a bunch of full damage. Then we're gonna fix our broken sand duper, make sure our chunk load is working and start producing thousands and thousands of sand. Then we're gonna load that into hundreds of shulker boxes. Wait, we're gonna need a lot more shulker boxes. So I think it's time for another spot of shulker hunting. All right, I think just one more NC. All right, maybe one more. Oh my God, this might be the smallest end city I've ever seen. And it's got a ship as well. Mine. All right, that should do. Ooh. What? All right, so let's craft up a bunch of these guys and let's load them up with a bunch of sand. And there we go, they're all filled up. So now if we just grab these ones and these... All right, now we can actually start placing the sand. If I remember, we do it something like this, and then we just go all the way along. This is gonna take a while. Oh my God. Um, hello? What do you sell? You sell death. All right, so that's the first layer of sand done and it's already looking really cool, but that was the hardest layer. Now these layers are just gonna be a little bit of a grind. So let's get placing. All right, and there we go. All right, we have placed way too much sand today. Oh my God, I really hope this works. And I'm kind of concerned that it might break my computer because that is a lot of sand. It's definitely over 200,000 sand. But anyways, before we actually break the sign and let all the sand fall and drain the ocean monument, we need to get rid of all of this seagrass underneath it because this would break all the sand and it would make it not work and be absolutely useless. So we need to fix that. Literally all of this needs to go. Die. All right, guys, all the grass and kelp is now gone. Now I just want to fill in these little gaps under the ocean monument so they don't leak out water. There we go. Let's head up to the surface before we die. And the very last thing we need to do before draining the ocean monument is actually sponge up all the water inside the monument as the sand on the top won't get that. All right, so for this, we're just going to make ourselves a nice little diamond hoe. We'll chuck a nice little enchant on it and let's go collect some sponge.
All right, so let's place these down and let's get drying these sponges. And now let's get rid of the water. This is actually really fun. All right, it's all drained and it's time for the moment of truth. Wait a second, let me just back up my world. Okay, we're all backed up. Let's do this. I really hope it works this time. Come on. Please don't break my PC. Let's go. Oh my God, what's happening? Uh, sun's falling. Please don't crash. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Has it crashed? I've got a loading wheel on my screen. Oh, I see signs have broken. And a lot of sand's fallen. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening, but it's not good. This is what I've got on my screen right now, guys. Uh, yeah, I think it went a bit wrong. All right, let's try and open the world. Oh, so it's just come back to here again. Uh, let's see if it'll work this time. All right, guys, it finally loaded in, and this was the result. All right, so I think it looks pretty cool at the moment. It's basically a sand ocean monument. But we are going to get rid of the sand with some torches and we will have a fully drained ocean monument. So let's get doing it. This should be enough. All right, so the torches are pretty much done, but now I want to go and get some glass to put around the edges. So we're going to head to our sand duper in the end. Ah! All right, I think something's gone a bit wrong here. Anyways, we should have a bunch of sand down here. Oh yes, let's load it up. Okay, I think this should be good. All right, but before we put down all this glass, I wanna go and fix my armor because these guardians have been hurting us. To the gold farm. Wait, I wanna kill a ghast with a trident. I heard one a second ago. Also guys, comment down below if you actually know what the ghast sounds are. I do, but I wanna see who knows. There's gotta be a little ghast around here somewhere. Oh well, let's get some XP. Hey, yeah. Let's go. All right, there we go. Oh no, we don't have a light on. Great. Ooh, that reminds me actually. Some of the guardians may have wasted a few of my totems. So I kind of want to do the hardest raid in the game again. Because apparently last time we didn't do the actual hardest one. We did the second hardest one. So we need to head to a pillager outpost and kill a bunch of them banner guys. Leave me alone. What the hell? There's a ghast in here. Um, Hello, Mr. Pig. All right, where is this outpost? Found it. All right, so we need to kill six of them. Let's do this. You're not a banner guy. Anybody home? Guess not. Why does no one ever spawn at this outpost? 360. Hey, yeah. Oh, it actually hurts whipping the light rod. Come on, where are the banner guys? All right, I've got an idea. Maybe if I fly away and let them spawn in, just uh, stare at these flowers for like two seconds. One, two. All right, did it work? I don't see any. Why aren't you a banner guy? All right, I'm just gonna go full on insta kill mode until we find a banner guy. Oh my God, finally. Only five more to go. Where do you think you're going? All right, the next pillager I see is getting build battled. All right, here he goes. He pre-fired me. Ooh, banner guy number two. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna kill you three with a feather. Get tickled to death. Go, banana guy number three. I wonder if I can shoot that pig from here. All right, screw it. There's another banner guy. Ooh, it's nighttime and we only need two more banner guys. Let's go speedrunner mode. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's go, pumpkin parkour. 
Oh, we missed. All right, guys, normal lockdown life here, and we are going to skip ahead until we find the two banner guys, so let's do it. All right, number five. Number six. Wait, what? Maybe you only did have to kill five. All right, time to do this raid then. So the main objective is to get a bunch of totems. So we need to kill all the evokers we see. All right, trident only first round. Oh, they've got really high level enchanted stuff. They had multi-shot crossbows. That's sick. Where are they coming from? Ooh, over there. My bow's still better than yours though. I want to see how much damage an axe guy does. Mr. Axe guy, how much do you do? Oh, it hurt a little bit actually. Oh my God, it does hurt. Ooh, there's a Ravager. Let's try it to death. Let's go. I will keep you safe. Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh-oh, there's witches. This was a bad idea to do it at night. Don't get me poison. Let's go. Oh my god, three axe guys. Axe versus axe. Let's go. Who's better with an axe? Can't catch me. Ow. Yes, let's go. All right, maybe we might be able to get some totems this time. Evoker, let's kill him. Oh, yes, we got a totem. All right, creeper time. Let's go. Bye-bye, Ravager. All right, maybe more evokers this time. So even more totems. Let's go. Okay, there's an evoker. Oh my God, it's so fast. Look at it. No, we need that totem. Ah! Oh my God. Down to three hearts. Uh, we need to heal, but it's not letting us. Go away. If these guys all hit me at once, I could be dead. Ah, Trident, save me. Where's the last little thing? There he is. All right, I think there's one more wave with a bunch of evokers, so this is going to be hard. Here we go. Oh my god, it's right here. Nice. Oh yes, another tomb. There's an evoker on a ravager. Ah, there's two ravagers. Oh my god, ow, 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 ow. He's breaking the tree. <laughs> oh my god, there's another evoker. What the hell? Die, give me some totems, please. Let's go. Two left. But where? Well, there's one. Oh, and I hear the other one. Let's go. Are you kidding me? There's one more wave. So for some reason, the raid stopped. Uh, so we're just going to fly away because we got poisoned. But yeah, I think we've replenished all the totems that we lost. So let's go and finish this ocean monument. All right, guys, we have done it. It is half five in the morning and we have officially drained an entire ocean monument with just one click. Well, sort of. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And in the next episode, we are doing something very cool to this ocean monument. So be sure to watch that episode when it comes out. Goodbye.